Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Eddie Stripper 93. We're back for another exciting video. So, real quick. So, we're drinking some Mountain Dew Voltage now. Hmm, that was weak. <laughs> Anyhow, so I have not made a video in a while, so I figured why not? Saturday, Saturday for the boys. And yeah, so I bought a can of dip on Thursday that I had not had in a while. So I said, you know what? Why not? So, today we're going to be reviewing Skull Peach. Um, so, Skull Peach has always been one of my favorites. Um, it has, like, a very weird, like, uh, texture look to it. And, uh, you know, it might look dry, but it's really not. Uh, I actually, I, uh... I taste tested it, you know, I went to the shower, packed that, you know, a decent sized dip. And, uh, <coughs> I was like, wow, yeah, this shit ain't dry. So, don't let the sell by dates fool you. So, because this one, the sell by date was March 31st at 2024. And so, Skull was made by Eli Smokeless and, right? Eh? Armstrong American Tobacco. Um, yeah, can design. Um, I personally like it. I'll give it a solid like ten out of ten because the old school peach cans, man, eh, they were they were all right. You know, back in the day, cans I gave them probably like a seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, so school peach is a dessert dip. Like, you know, let's say you get done, like, eating, like, breakfast or lunch or dinner. You know, and you're like, hmm, a dip sounds good. Oh. All right, that's probably going to look kind of dry, but it's not. So, sit test. Yeah, it's definitely uh, peach smelly. So, smell wise, I'd probably give that like 10 out of 10. You know, I used to like Timberwolf Peach, that was pretty good. Longhorn Beach, Longhorn Peach, <laughs> I said Peach. <laughs> Longhorn Peach was pretty good. Um, I actually thought Longhorn Peach was better than Timberwolf Peach. But uh, yeah, this actually is. One of my favorites. You know, I don't really care for like school cherry, school apple, school berry. School berries are really not that bad. They just they chalk it up, say it's crappy, but it's not that bad. Berry. So the pinch really on that. That's a solid fucking ten, but uh, you know. Got some balls to it. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's about the size I took when I first opened the can. I was like, wow. So, I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom. Dip back around the can. <coughs> All right, folks. No good dip in yet. I highly recommend you do. Yes, sir. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. What that soak up, world? 
Mm. Mm. Got that handy dandy mud jug. <laughs> so, yeah. Just crunch on the lip. Um, yeah. It's very peachy. Not bad. Mmm. See? Nice and dark spit. Um, the aftertaste is actually pretty good. Oh, I like peaches, so. But like I said, if you don't really care for peaches, you're not going to like that. Same thing for apples. If you don't like apples, you're not going to like mm. common sense people. Come on. Mmm. Ah, uh, so nicotine, um, I give it a solid four, like, you're gonna feel it, but it, it's very enjoyable, you know? Hmm. Mm-hmm. But this is my first dip of the day, so I might go some. <laughs> Um, so flavor-wise, honestly, I give it about an hour. Um, no. It's about like 90 to like 120 minutes. Like, now it's like, you flip it over, you whip it, tongue it down, do a good old spitty spit, and then you keep going. Yeah, it's really good now um floaters not that many so it's good mm. that scope is just it's an awesome dip i love that you know mm. i love seeing stores too it's like oh cool yep hmm So, that brings me to my next order of business. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. I should, should recommend it. It's just a, it's a great dip, you know. Um, it's a very well-known dip, actually. It's been around for, like, forever. I think it came out right around when... Uh, first started dipping so eh, just a good dip huh so last but not least overall rating um if I was to give an unbiased opinion I'd say a solid seven out of ten it's good but you know if you don't like peaches you're not gonna like this or you might like it and go, eh, you know. But, not bad. So, oh, we got some shout outs to do. We got Sage Appa, Ohio Dipper, Tennessee Romeo, Ronnie Gillix, Brazilian Dipper, Zach Fur, um, And I think that's it. But last but not least, you got the Wisconsin Red Tatted Fine Boys. Jason, Justin, Stevie, Warbur, Tim, and Josh. And Josh is trying to get back from Ohio to Wisconsin. So, I'll keep you guys updated about that. Anyhow, speaking of updates, um, the Wisconsin boys, they don't work in a cow farm no more. Now they work in a horse farm. So, that's pretty cool. I actually worked on a horse farm uh, back in the day, myself, and I gotta say, it's fun. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and as always, 
be a man and reach for that can. And if you're feeling Freddy, get your can of that skull peach because everything's just fucking peachy. Send it. All right. Hope you guys, like I said, have a great rest of your weekend. Um, I'm going to be drinking with the guys tonight and the uh, rest of the day. Oh, it's 2 o'clock now. I'm probably just going to you know, play some Call of Duty on my PS5 and enjoy the afternoon. But, all right, guys. I'm in a strip of 93. Have a great rest of your weekend, and as always, fucking send it. Woo! Yes, sir.